the beautiful site. So it's Bud Walton Arena, where tonight the Arkansas Razorbacks, one of three undefeated teams still in the SEC, host the, the show. UCA Bears. Anthony Jordan, Nathan Bemis, Vladimir Boyard, Tadal, and just like that, there's Colin Cooper, the Fayetteville kid, but he can't score. And Audie's Tony answers on the other yeah, end. Yeah, hey, yeah. we're if underway. You can do just that, you know, you got to feel good about the games like that. Vanover competing for the basketball. Williams has it. Hawks dangerous in transition. So is Chris Likes. Took the hit. And Williams able to poke one in. You're glad you're not getting that out. You're not getting it out. It's in there forever. <laughs> this was a five win team a year ago. There's a takeaway by Chris Likes. And you lay it in for two. Oh, Feeble seven Davis. against Skip. Good ball movement by the Razorbacks out there. A lot of passes. A lot of passes. Got the shot you wanted. That that's a that's a really good possession by Arkansas. Cameron Hunter controlling a freshman out of Bryant. They are really high on this young man. They think he's got a bright future. He just turned the ball over. He's got a strong body. Doesn't look like a freshman. Obviously going to have some freshman mistakes out there. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Don you got down like that down. already. That three just reined in by Kyalu. The Paris France native. He had 14 at Baylor, and his coach Anthony Boone said no moment is too big for him. And these are games I'm sure they're going to lean on that experience. Yeah, and one thing I love about about you know, players from from uh, overseas, foreign countries, I play with a few. That fear factor is non-existent with them. You know, they haven't seen their families in, in, in two, three years. You know, they, they kind of come over here, they're by themselves. So, you know, they're not scared of any moment because, like, hey, my life, I'm, I'm pretty much alone. I'm not with my family calling through for another shot. Looking for the foul. But Stanley Amude said a couple of field goals. Now he'll get a slam. You love to take advantage of them. Sometimes when someone knocks that chip off your shoulder, you got to put it right back on them. After Amude went to the deck. Nice pass. Tony had to go through his hands. Thought we were ready for a highlight. <laughs> Almost had the highlight. Cooper shoots over. Audie's Tony and Colin for Cooper. Next year, and eight eight quick uh, you can put a feather in someone's hat if they beat you. So yeah. they're going to give you their best game. Another turnover. Got it back, though. Taken right back by Hunter. Going to lead to an open three from the corner. That's Darius Hall. He scored seven. And it's the Bears up by two. Amude can't answer, but his tip is good. And Manny, this Quick has been a good slow for a media break. We'll play on. Note, a wide open three, and J.D. Note carries the triple. Feels pretty good for him after going 0 of 6 from distance on Sunday against the Quakers. Always good to get that shot to fall. Kyalu can't lay it in, trying to follow his own miss. Active hands of Debo Davis with a rebound. Jackson Robinson sinks an action. There's a scorebook with the triple. Timeout, UCA. Arkansas down to. Kailu controlling another knockaway. Amude got the steal. Did he walk with it? <laughs> that was close. Amude started the break, and then he hits the three, and that's the 11. Amude coming off that. Bears just trying to get this ball in bounds. Kailu threw it off Robinson. Boy, the ball looks like a slipper uh, tonight. Hot potato. My goodness gracious. Somebody pick it up. <laughs> and Darius Hall felt like he got the step and Jalen Williams sends one into the seat. That was a volleyball. So Colin Cooper hoisting a three. Boy, again, if Williams doesn't get the rebound, he gets his hands on the basket. Yeah, he's always in the mix. He's, he's always in the trenches in those plays. Debo Davis able to have that ball dislodged and then picked it up and scored. He has seven points. Colin Cooper will answer. He's in double figures. He's just so wrong with this basketball tonight. It's being bobbled and kicked. And yeah, someone dropped. put some grease on it. Good no call by the ref. Yeah, the the like the that. Charge, but Darius <laughs> all gets the basket. Yeah, it's a little bit of sloppy play right now in the first half. Might get that on a Wednesday night game. That's a pretty drive by Amuda. 15 first half points.
been decades since Arkansas has hosted a game here as a top 10 team. That's a three-pointer from the corner by Jackson Baker on the show season. That's Connor Vanover hasn't scored until now. Vanover post up. You don't see that very often, but I like that. Come out of the break, get an easy two. I, I like it. I, I, I do like it. Come out, you know, get that lid off the basket early, get a nice easy bucket. Bit of a wild shot there by Hunter. Hogs will come back five on four. Debo Davis gliding to the basket. That's a quick four for the Razorbacks. This is kind of start you on if you're Arkansas. You want to eliminate the Central Arkansas team's confidence early on. They don't think they have a chance to, to win this game late. Darius Hall was trying to draw some contact, missed the shot. Bears have missed two or three shots at the rim. Debo Davis, two big steps, and now he's in double figures with 11. 40-some years controlled. separated. And, hey, you don't get a story like that if you're broadcasting from your kitchen. Debo was telling that today, and it was a <laughs> great story. We had to relay, and there's a drive and a basket. That one of the guys in Arkansas, Coast. Mount Rushmore, is, is, is amazing. Um, and something he's going to remember the rest There's of no his doubt. life. Such a classy individual as Sidney Moncrief went into the Hall of Fame recently. Note on the push. There's Tony. Oh, he's Tony. Come over and push play to the other end. We win, or we're going to develop you to play after college. Yeah, and what else do you want to hear? Yeah, what else? Because Tony knew about the Martin twins and their success at Nevada. Guess who? Tony again. <laughs> on the floor. Come on now. He's got to stop. You can't be in that many places at once. He knows we're talking about him. And Darius Hall answers. <laughs> and he's up to a dozen. Turn that off. Grumpy what, what are you watching? Yeah. Jalen Williams. He had a two in a ten game. Two points in oh, rebound. Yeah, three guys before that. Once. Everybody thinks they're going <laughs> to get a back hey, door. When, that, is, that is the one thing as a guard playing at this level. When you have a big who can pass the ball, Trey Thompson on my team would have, you know, really soft hands to really pass the ball. When, when you have someone who, who can make those passes as a guard, you're cutting instantly. And you guys might run out and there it goes again. Every time I get in the game and I say it does mean more. Yeah, you lie to yourself. I mean, it, you know, anytime you've got some ties to, to a team, it, 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 it just means more. It's kind of you can't really shoot yourself in the That's play. right. Empty possessions. Darius Hall had that one swatted away. Tony again. Two on two break. Tony from one end to the other. And a beautiful oh, team. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> one, even though we're in December. <laughs> Audie Stoney. Nice find for Williams. He bobbled it, but still able to get the play in. They shoot 60%, and you know, this one is, is, is looking like it's going to be that one. But it, it was just going to be a matter of time before they, they put it all together. How about Williams getting a rebound on his back? That's fighting. Moody just won that a little bit more. Yeah. That all started with Jalen Williams getting on the floor. Biggest guy on the court. Diving for the ball and, and keeping it alive for his team. His 12th rebound came while he was on the ground. And then he just takes that ball away from Kyalu. Tony got the position, made the catch, scored the basket. Oh, uh, so Tony has been not been a clinic from the free throw line. These teams are a combined 13 of 30 on free throws tonight. It's like, it's like so quick, a lot more. Um, college basketball, you see, they're scheduling a lot of good games early on in the season before conference. Jackson Robinson running the floor and played that one in. I'll tell you what, Jackson Robinson's earned a few more minutes in this game. He's played well. Some composure for being so young and, 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 and haven't had as much playing time. Looks like he's, you know, a veteran out there. He should be a true freshman. Again, last year, early enrolled, he didn't play a lot at A&M. A&M didn't play a lot. They had a COVID yeah. issue all February. Look at that move from Likes. Oh, my! Game oh. Hey, that looks like it came out of the warm-up routine. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, Chris Likes. Uh, for, for showing yeah, around. From right? Rogers, yeah. right? Yep. And that's where I, he went uh, to high school? Yep. When I uh, was on the Razorback, he came in and we... Stolen again. My goodness, he's a pack. Everywhere. He's everywhere. Jackson. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good. I knew I was in that area. I 
knew that was in that heat. Right Traded there, his yeah. rights to the Bulls. Boy, did they regret that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like kind of of There's K.K. Robinson. He got the basket. So he can't triple. get it. Inside, 10 seconds to play. Arkansas led by just six at the half. There's Wade! Mark in the flush. Finish it off. Manny, that's a 54-point second half. The Razorbacks, again, a little bit of a slow starting team, and they roar to the finish line. 